Today's lesson is a theory lesson and it's all about the backdoor dominant. Another way of getting back to chord one. Now a backdoor dominant in the key of C would be B flat seven to C. And it's a non-diatonic progression, meaning that B flat seven is out of key. If we harmonize the major scale, we get a B minor seven flat five, not a B flat seven. So it's out of key, which is why when it comes in, it's, it sounds a bit unexpected, but it's a good way to get back to one. The backdoor dominant is sometimes called the flat seven cadence. Now, why is this? Well, if we take our C major scale, the seventh note is B. Now, a backdoor dominant in the key of C would be B flat seven to C. So we need to flatten the notes B to get to a B flat to build that B flat seven chord. So that's why it's called a flat seven cadence. You know, there's different ways we can get back to the one chord. The first way we, we all learn about is five one. So like C, G7, C. Um, the second way might be the tritone. Probably more likely in a 2-5-1 context than that, but that's the next one. But I think the next one you want to know about is the backdoor dominant, and it's C, B flat 7, back to C. And it can come in other forms, which we get on today. So I'll go through how it works, why it works, and where you're likely to see it and tunes that it occurs in. This will help you spot it and go, ah, okay, that's the backdoor dominant. You'll know how to treat it. You'll understand what's happening then, rather than seeing that part of the song as like, oh, it goes a bit weird there. The first way it appears is on its own. And by that means, it's just, just that chord on its own. So like I did a minute ago, so C6 here, B flat seven, that's our backdoor dominant to C. Notice, that that backdoor dominant, it's a tone beneath its target chord. So B flat is a tone beneath C. So that's the backdoor dominant of C. The backdoor dominant of say F would be E flat because it's a tone beneath. The second way it would occur is with its two chord. So by that, I mean, if you were to take B flat seven as a five chord, what would its two be? Well, B flat seven is the five of E flat and the two of E flat is F minor seven. So you can get it paired with the two as well, which would be say C, and then F minor seven, B flat seven, back to C. I'm sure you've heard that before. So let's try it again. That's a nice movement. So that two instantly takes us out of key to the key of E flat and the B flat back to dominant takes us to C. Another common way it comes after the major four chord. So in the key of C, we've got the fourth chord being F and uh, that's a common place for it to occur. So let's say we had a progression that went, oh, I don't know, C, six, then we could go D minor seven, then I could go F six, nine, then B flat seven, back to C. So C, D minor seven, F six, B flat seven, C. So really that's, you can kind of think of it as a sub for G7 really there. It does does the same thing as the G7. You could easily have had a G7 there, but the B flat seven is a little bit more interesting. Remembering that chords often move in fourths in jazz. So F to B flat is a fourth. Uh, it's a common movement from the blues that so, we're so used to. Uh, so, so far we've had it just on its own. So C, B flat seven, back to dominant to C. Then we had it with its two, so C, F minor seven, B flat seven, C. And then we've had it after the major four. So we went C, D minor seven, F, B flat seven, C. So that's some of the ways that it occurs. And the key thing to remember, the way to spot it, the backdoor dominant is a tone beneath its target. So what's the backdoor dominant of E? It's D7. A really good example of this is Just Friends. So Just Friends is in the key of G and it happens in the first line actually. So going into the second line, so we've got Key of G, we start on chord four, C major seven. Then we go two five, C minor seven, F seven, up to G major seven. So, so we've got. So that, you know, we start on chord four, then we make it minor, and then we use F seven, which is our backdoor dominant, to go up tone to G major seven. In that Just Friends example, it had the two of the backdoor dominant with it, the C minor seven. Another example, Misty, it's in bars four to five. So we've got chord one, E flat major. We move into the four chord, A flat major. And then here we go A flat minor seven, D flat seven, back up to E flat major. So that D flat major, D flat dominant seventh. 
is our backdoor dominant going up a tone to E flat major seven. Another little example for you, Ladybird in the first line, we've got C major seven for two bar, then F minor seven, B flat seven, back to C major seven. Another one you could look at is Cherokee, so goes B flat major, then two five to E flat, then it goes to the A flat seven, back up to B flat. So that A flat seven was a, a backdoor dominant and it went, it came after the four chord. So, you know, we're in the key of B flat major, E flat major is our four chord. Then we move to the backdoor dominant to get back. Um, another place it may be used is where you sometimes get the minor four. So take the progression from there whenever it be another U. E flat major seven, D minor seven flat five, G seven, C minor, B flat minor seven, E flat seven. Then we go often A flat major, A flat minor there, back to E flat, or E flat major seven. So uh, it's possible that some people would play that. Instead of going A flat to A flat minor, they would go A flat to D flat seven or D flat nine, back to E flat, so a backdoor dominant instead of the minor four like this. So you do your, everything is normal. We hit the C minor. We go two, five and A flat. We hit this A flat, then go to D flat, and then back up to E flat. So that's another place it can be used. So you may sometimes see people there using D flat seven to get back to E flat, rather than going from A flat to A flat minor. So in substitute of the the minor four. So we've gone through we've gone through the ways it can happen, and there's just a couple of examples from some standards. But why does it work? Well, it's to do with how the notes move into the one chord. So let's take, let's take a backdoor dominant in the key of C. So we're going to go C major seven. We we'll go B flat seven to C, and it's about where those notes go from that B flat seven, that backdoor dominant. So taking that chord, let's have a look at the notes. So a B flat can go up, you know, the third of the B flat seven chord, the note D can go up a tone to an E, the major third of E. The fifth of the backdoor dominant, which is an F, can go up a tone to G or down a semitone to E. And the A flat, the, the seventh of the B flat seven chord could go down a semitone to G. So they're all very close harmonically. Um, obviously because, you know, on the fretboard it's very visual. They, everything moves up two frets, although the harmony changes a little bit because we've got a major seventh instead of a flat seventh. And, and some could view the B, you know, the back door as a, a substitution for five. It, it's really functioning in that way. It's doing the same job. And you could look at it in terms of well, what, you know, if five is G seven for C, what are the intervals of a B flat seven chord over a G seven? Well, they're pretty interesting. Let's look at the intervals of a B flat seven over a G seven, and you kind of got some tasty notes there. B flat is um, a sharp nine, or a minor third, uh, D is a fifth, F is a flat seven, and A flat is a flat nine. So that's some pretty tasty notes of a G seven over the top. So I think that's another reason it works, because there's two shared notes in D and F, the fifth and seventh, and then we've got the, the flat nine and the, the sharp nine, so two fruity sounding notes that you could play over a G seven anyway. An another common thing to be aware of um, when playing backdoor dominance. It's quite common when these chords are played to make them a sharp 11 or a, a dominant flat 5 if, if you want to call it that. So this chord and I'll put the shape on the screen. So this is B flat, you know, I've got root 7 third and instead of a fifth I've got a, a flat 5 so an E instead of an F which um, sounds pretty cool. Now the reason this works well, if I go C major 7, B flat 7, flat 5 is because E is the flat five of B flat, that note there, and that's the major third of the C, so there's kind of a link back to the original key. You hear that there? So that's quite quite a nice thing, nice thing to do. We've looked at a couple of examples and, and where to take it from here for you in terms of how this information can be useful for you. Well, you need to spot it in charts. So look at standards and try to look for dominant seventh chords, a tone beneath the major chord that comes after. If you see F major seven or F major, F major six, and it's got an E flat seven before it, that would be a backdoor dominant. Same if we had G major seven, F seven before it, that's a backdoor dominant. And sometimes you've got the two with it. So if we did a, a two and then the backdoor in the key of G, we'd go 
you know, it could be what F7 would be the backdoor dominant, and the two of F7 is C minor, so it goes C minor 7, F7, G7. Sometimes, sorry, G major 7. Sometimes it won't have the two, and it'll just be the, the backdoor dominant on its own. When it comes to playing over them, you need to get used to how they resolve into each other. Now, if you go B flat 7 to C, C uh, major 7, play them in order B flat, D, F, A flat, we're a semitone above G, which is the fifth of C. I've got going on the looper B flat 7 to C major 7, so. So if I just go in order, B flat, D, F, A flat, then I'm semitone down to G. If I start on D, start on F, start on an A flat. And what I'm looking for here is whatever note I finish on, on the B flat seven, the backdoor dominant, where am I in relation to C? Where can I resolve to? I, you know, the notes of a C major seven chord, C, E, G, B. So if I land on the A flat, the seventh of B flat, I could go down to the G of C. If I land on the D, I could go up to E or down to C and, and so forth. So find those links when the chords collide. And if you want a scale to use over this chord, then for me, Lydian dominant is the best choice, which, you know, which is a Lydian scale with a flat seven. That's me going into C Ionian. Now, why is this a good choice? Well, that note, which is the uh, sharp of sharp four or flat five, is an E, which is the major third of C. So you play the dominant sound, but that, that really Lydian sounding note gives a nice connection to C major. So even though B flat seven is out of key, that note, keeps us sort of in key because it's the major third. So, you know, that scale would work. When I uh, do these YouTube lessons, I always try to prepare best as I can by making some notes. And I made a list of a few standards you could check out. Now, one word of warning, do you remember Earlier I said how you might find, like in another U, where someone uses the minor four instead of the backdoor dominant. You may find when you look at someone's chart that they put either in. So, you know, you might look and go, there isn't a backdoor dominant, uh, but it's a minor four instead. Now, here's some just to check out. I've mentioned a few of these. So, uh, Stella by Starlight, I think there's two in there. Just Friends, we've already talked about. Misty, uh, Ladybird, we've already talked about. Grooving High, great tune. How Deep Is The Ocean? Uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, some chord voicings use it. Um, Donna Lee, My Romance, there will never be another use. So a few there to check out. There's there's tons of examples um, that you could go for. But, uh, you know, just being aware that it exists and knowing it's something you can spot out for as a way to get to a major chord. And, you know, when you're learning jazz, it's all about being able to look at a chart for the first time and roadmap it, know where it's going, why it's going there related to other songs. You know, if you learn the backdoor dominant via a song like Just Friends, then maybe it will help you in the future when you come up, come across it again. In the same way that Just Friends is a great example of a song which doesn't start on the one chord, it starts on the four chord. Without the theory behind themselves, would look at Just Friends and let's say they didn't know what key signatures were, they'd go, oh, it starts on C, so it's in the key of C. Well, no, C is the fourth chord. And, you know, we go to that one chord in the next line, bar five, I think. Anyway. Thank you for tuning in. Any questions, any comments, suggestions for future videos, then leave them below. Uh, subscribe for more lessons every Wednesday and Saturday. And be sure to check out my website, jazzguitarwithandy.com, where I've got some free resources on. You can also find out about video lessons with myself and also a bit about me. And if you're interested in guitars and gear and stuff like that, I've got uh, sort of a, a gear page on there. Anyway, see you next time. Take care.